Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Martin Dreyfus Show. Welcome back to our continued coverage of the Russia and Ukraine crisis. As I previously mentioned, this war could reach a whole new level of technology in space. However, it seems again like the Russians are protesting this thought. As the Russian troops, I believe today or yesterday, arrived at the ISS. Um, they actually were wearing Ukrainian colors, obviously, um, as a, you know, protest to their country, I'm sure, as many of their citizens are doing. Obviously, it's not like Vladimir Putin can arrest these citizens. They are in orbit in space right now. Um, really, his only course of action would be to blow up the ISS, which, no way. No way would he do that, right? I mean, I guess with him, there's no clue. But I just wanted to watch the video with you guys on the... Russians were arriving at the ISS and seeing them wearing the colors and seeing this the the moment with you guys. <laughs> It's a pretty cool moment, man. I mean, you got people from all around the world at the ISS, and they're all in space. Like, they just took a journey to space, and they made it. Like, beyond the war, that's just super cool. Um, but, yeah, that's dope. Socks. They look so happy to be there. They look excited. They look happy knowing the colors they're wearing. And they know exactly what message they're sending. Um, this is important in the sense that it feels like it kind of mitigates the fear of space war. And honestly, it's cool again to see that doesn't matter if it's land, water, sea, or space, man. No one agrees with you, Putin. Not a singular person. <laughs> 